that's not between me and you. And I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. All right, Brandon Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Philadelphia's very own, the unified champion, Stephen Fowler. What's, what's good, champ? Chilling. Yeah. Relaxing. Yeah. Nice, nice to finally meet you. <laughs> yeah. I know with you, man. Like I got, I got, I got to be honest. I wasn't always a believer, but you made me a believer <laughs> when you when you beat my friend, so Angela Leo. So uh, respect to you and everything that's happened in your career. No, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I, I want. What do you, What do you think is next for you? Because there's a lot of talk about like undisputed with Merge on. You know. That's what I want next. Okay. That's just really what I need next. I don't know if that didn't happen. I don't know what I'll do next. Yeah, because I, I know, I know there's, there's a lot of talk now about like the, the the super fight between you and the monster 122. You know, a bigger guy moving up, kind of like a Salvador Sanchez or Pedro Gomez type thing. What, what, what do you think about that? It's a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 an interesting fight. Yeah. What, what what do you think about the monster? He's a good fighter. Yeah, he's a good fighter. Yeah. You, you see any holes? Yeah. Yeah, a lot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just sitting here. He's a good fighter though. Yeah. But just like me, I'm a good fighter. Just like there's other fighters out there that make they need. I have holes in my game that they get exploited. So Yeah. It's all about seeing when it's that time. Yeah, well I don't, I don't think you're a good fighter. I think you're much I think you're much better than a good fighter. You've proven that over time. You've been three of the top five guys in your weight class and I don't really think there's being enough respect putting your name, honestly. I think, no, it ain't. Cause who else beating three of the top five guys? It's not a lot of guys. It's not a lot, if, nah, if any. Nah, Four back to back, two world champions. You know, they got like twenty one fights by twenty one, twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one. So nine undefeated. So nine of your wins are undefeated guys. Damn near happy wins are undefeated guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now I was just talking to your guy Boots in there. He had a he had a, a lot of high praise for you. Uh, you know, he said that you know you're one of the best fighters in the what world. Up, what up? What up? What up? My son. <laughs> okay. Okay. What up? What up? I'm gonna call you right back. <laughs> Shout out to Stephen Fulton's son, bro. Yeah, I was talking. I was talking to Boots in there, and he had a lot of good things to say about you. I wanted to ask you about Boots. So when, when you talk about Boots, like, what, what do you think about Boots overall as a fighter? Great fighter. Yeah. I mean, you just see, he got a lot of, he got a lot of aspects in his game. That he can, a lot of things that he can utilize. Whatever. The switch, power, in both hands, fast, slick. Yeah. Smart, endurance. So it's that. Yeah, it seems like it seems like you guys really feed off of each other because like uh, this is my first time in Philly, my first time at this gym. It seems like it, everything is really family oriented, and, and you guys are always like soaking up knowledge from each other. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. It's always love when I when I if I'm not here, I'm at Danny's gym. So if, if I'm at Danny's gym, I'm here. Yeah. So anytime I come here, it's always like yeah. it's always love. Absolutely. And the gym always love. Yeah. Well, you want to um. I know you got the merge on fight. Uh, if you go to 26, like who, who who are some of the guys you'd like to fight? Anybody with a belt? Anybody? Yeah, I want belts. You want people? You want people to know that Cool Boy was that guy in the belt. I don't even matter with it. I just want to beat the shit out of motherfuckers that they say I can't beat. Yeah, cause you love fighting. Yeah. Yeah, cause even now you were just shadow boxing and practicing combos. You're always practicing that stick, that jab. Like I saw you in the gym, you were with the, with the southpaw jab and. Uh, I mean, I turned southpaw when I thought uh, Nero Ramon hit it with a nice move. But, but then I turned back around. I should have stayed that way though, because I'd be comfortable staying that way. Yeah, because um, that you, you, made, you made that fight. That was probably like I'm not trying to disrespect Danny Ramon, but like oh, all the fights at 122, you can you can tell me what you think, but it looked like one of your easier fights. Yeah, it was. Because there wasn't really no resistance, like like against Figueroa and even Angelo. Like you didn't you didn't come out as aggressive early. You came out a lot more aggressive early when you fought Ramon, I feel like. Yeah, that was a good fight. Shout out to Daniel Ramon. He's a good fighter. Yeah. Good person. Absolutely. Who who do you think like out of all the guys you fought so far, who do you think the best guy you fought? He was one of them. Danny? Danny Ramon? Yeah, him. Uh, Figueroa was a good one. Yeah. That's on the middle, man. I gotta say Leo was a good one. Yeah. Uh, so the Adam Lopez fight towards the end seemed like Lopez it was tough. Is a good fighter. Uh, name Arnold K guy is a good fighter yeah uh, pretty much all the undefeated guys <laughs> yeah 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 but he are a good fighter yeah, being from Philadelphia man what, what do you think separates like Philadelphia fighters and the Philadelphia gym coach from the other gyms because I'm, I'm here I almost forgot our damn foot Adam Lopez I just seen him out uh Vegas when I was getting ready for the Daniel Ramon fight yeah that was one of your like fights that really made you on the way up yeah man I almost forgot about him 
that I fought. Tough eight rounder. He's a good fighter. Yeah. But I, want, I wanted to get your take on Philadelphia, man. Like, uh, like the Philadelphia gym's culture seems like it's a lot, a lot different than most places. Uh, and Philadelphia fighters always have this chip on their shoulder. Why, why do you? What do you think separates Philly from the other places in the world? The streets. The streets. Yeah. Because when you come to this gym, you feel like you better get jumped, or shot, or stabbed. <laughs> you better be ready for some sport. You better have some hands if you walk down the street. You know. Well, you better have something else. Yeah. That too. That too. <laughs> hey, they don't care about no hands. <laughs> some <head>. steel. <laughs> nah, but I feel like it's just where we come from. How we was raised and the streets, the street side of it. You know, a lot of boxes come from the street. A lot of a lot of fighters are not just family men like us. They they was made in the street. Like, it was brought up in the, from the streets. Like, yeah. So that's where a lot of the mentality goes a long way. That's all I can say about it. Okay. Okay. Well, look, I don't want to hold you up much more cool, because I know you got to go with your son and your girl yeah, and all that going. stuff. But uh, any any final message to the boxing world you want to give? Shout out to y'all for supporting me. Y'all gonna say, see, I'm a little. <laughs> I'm about to go eat. You've been enjoying. Right you've been enjoying all uh, this time yeah, off. I'm, to, I'm about to go eat. But you already know. Shout out to y'all, thanks, and tune in for the next one. I don't know who it will be yet, but whichever one it be, it's gonna be a great performance. And I'm definitely looking to start knocking these motherfuckers out. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. I'm trying to punch teeth out of their mouth. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Steven Fulton, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Thank you for talking to True School Sports. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.